say this is just overwhelming. I, I can't thank you enough for coming and helping to celebrate this occasion, which my family and I have, uh, in a sense, been celebrating since before August. All of you got invitations to this uh, occasion with my mother riding a bicycle. And, and this has become an endearing image for, for many people of my mother. So along the way, she did win the National Medal of Science in 99, the Lasker Award. Um, and then this past year, as I believe you all know, uh, she, uh, Janet was awarded not only the Genetics Prize uh, for the Peter, from the Peter and Patricia Goober Foundation, but our very own uh, President Barack Obama bestowed upon her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is uh, the nation's highest honor to be given to a civilian. And we, of course, uh, want to just uh, acknowledge that, that caps off uh, what we have all known. So I was only 20 when I entered medical school uh, and a pretty naive 20-year-old there. But I went to England with Donald in uh, 1961 and got involved in a research project involving chromosomes returned to Chicago and decided that I really wanted to do research. Janet is um, a very distinctive figure on the University of Chicago campus. The university has many brilliant people, many enormously accomplished people, uh, many of whom kind of look at themselves and say, wow, I'm really pretty good. But all of them I'll look at Janet with an enormous amount of admiration. My colleagues were always very supportive and uh, truly wonderful for me. It also illustrates the critical importance of the integration of the medical school, the hospital, and, and science. Uh, and we are interdependent because the three of us represent, if you will, uh, those aspects. It has been inspiring to uh, have this kind of a colleague to, in my case, be next door uh, to Janet, to see her perseverance, her integrity, uh, her energy uh, to this day. It is particularly satisfying that the Cancer Research Foundation's early investment in Dr. Rowley has come full circle, where the discoveries for which she is being honored today create the basis for the work we're now supporting. And I want to emphasize the importance of donors. You really have to look at yourself as venture capitalists. It's, it's the best description. You are taking risks. And some of the risks, you know, you're going to fail on, but some others will cause a, a great success. I was very fortunate that some of the things that I did uh, with the help of many individuals has led to this uh, kind of success. What I learned from her was being a gracious human being, an inquisitive person, and just a charming speaker. Everywhere I went with Janet, she would stand to talk to people. She would want to know about them. She would invite them into her lives. And as a result of that openness, she was able to receive so much. And she gave so much to so many people. And that's what she really taught me. One of the things you learn in academic medicine is that you have to learn to sink or swim. But it was nice for me to know that Janet was on the shoreline and that she was ready to throw me a lifeline whenever I needed it. But you can't run a lab by yourself. You need people who help you. And I have been so blessed because a feeling of belonging and of contribution, uh, along with a wonderful family and friends, these are the true treasures of life.